Hi, my name's Aaron. I'm a sales tech here at Nagios Enterprises. I'd like to welcome you today to our Get Monitoring series. So this is a series of five videos. We're going to go over how to get things monitored in Nagios XI. How do you know that this is the right series for you to be watching at this time? First, you're going to have Nagios XI installed somewhere somehow on your network, whether as a virtual machine or running on physical hardware. Uh, and the second thing is you want to learn how to monitor things in your environment and actually go ahead and get some things monitored. So whether you are the person implementing this for the first time in your organization or you are new to Nagios XI and it is already running in your organization and you need to learn how to run it, this is going to be the video series for you to get from zero to one. Okay, so here we are, and we're talking about how Nagios XI works. So in this diagram, we have got our Nagios XI server right here in the center. We have got our network out here. And then off to the side, we've got alerting functions and visu visualization functions. So we're gonna use Nagios XI to monitor these things in our network. How are we going to do that? How does Nagios XI talk to them? How does it know what's going on there? Well, there's two ways that we can do that. We can either use an agent or we can use a native protocol. So let's talk about the agent first. So um, say that this here is an agent and it's on this network element. Let's say that that's a Linux server. So Nagios XI, what it does is it reaches out to the agent that we put on here and it says, how are we doing? How's the main drive? Do we have lots of space? Is it more than 80% full? Is it you know more full than we wanted it to be? So should we know about that? How's the RAM doing? How's the CPU? Are we maxed out? Are we not maxed out? What are we talking about there? So Nagios XI reaches out to the agent, the agent gets the information, and then it responds back to Nagios XI. Nagios XI takes a look at it, and it's gonna do a couple of things. First, it's gonna store the information so that we can you know, show visualization and we can chart and graph over time and understand how things have been going. Um, the other thing it can do is it can generate an alert so that, um, you know, say that the main drive is on this particular network element is 95% full, you're gonna to need to know about that because you either gotta got get rid of some stuff or you gotta upgrade the drive or something's gotta happen, but we're about to lose data if we don't deal with the fact that this drive is almost full. So that's the alerting side of things. So that's generally what Nagios XI does. Now, another way that Nagios XI can talk to network elements is through a native protocol. There are two of those. One is SNMP, which is great and fantastic and many, many things use. Uh, the other is WMI, which is related solely to the Windows environment. So say that we've got here, we've got a network switch. It's running, it's got SNMP enabled uh, and configured. So Nagios will reach out and using, uh, you know, on port 161, using SNMP, says, hey, switch, how you doing? And the switch is going to respond. And it's either going to say, hey, everything's great, or it's going to say port one is down, or, you know, bandwidth has been maxed out on port six for the last hour, those sorts of things. So how does... XI talk to things, it can either do, it can talk to an agent that we placed on there, or it can use a native protocol. Now, this is active monitoring. So active monitoring means that Nagios XI reaches out to the agent or it reaches out to the network element using a native protocol. It asks a question and then it gets data back. There is another way to do this, um, and that is passive monitoring. So in passive monitoring, what happens is we've got the, you know, an agent. We can use agents passively. The agent is on here and the Nagios box never reaches out. The agent just sends information northbound either on a regular basis or when some event occurs. And then we get the same thing. We can, we can use that information for visualization or we can use that information for alerting. Similarly, uh, on this network element out here, we've got SNMP. We can use an SNMP trap. So um, say port seven goes down and we have a trap that says, uh, you know, if any port goes down, let us know. That information goes up to the Nagios server. And now we know, uh, we, again, we can visualize it 
or we can alert on it. So that's pretty much how XI works. It is going to reach out either to an agent or to a network element with a native protocol, and it's going to get information back that's active monitoring, or we're going to set up the network elements themselves to send information to Nagios XI, either with an agent sending that information or with a native protocol sending information when something happens. That's how XI works. You're ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is we're going to go through in the interface how we actually configure one element. And then this way you can take that information and you can apply it to all the elements in your network. Thanks for being here. Hope you're ready for video number two.